is a mental health illness that is characterized by excessive worry or fear about everyday circumstances. Um, we just need to remember that everybody experiences um, anxiety from time to time and it's normal. Just that people that have been diagnosed with anxiety disorder are people that experience persistent, excessive and disruptive anxiety about their daily um, activities and it disrupts their daily activities. Right, so we should remember that anxiety is an umbrella of different disorders. So within anxiety there are different types of anxiety disorders. I'm just going to name just three. Um, the common one is genital anxiety disorder. This is when um, there is excessive, persistent worry about almost everything that happens within your everyday life. Um, and then the other one is specific phobia, for example, that would be somebody that is afraid of the dark. Um, so their thoughts um, are usually exacerbated and they worry what would happen in the dark. Um, and it's specific to um, situations. And then the third one, and also common to others, is panic disorder. So with panic disorder, there are signs and symptoms that are very physical. When a person would have heart palpitations, they would have shortness of breath, including the worry about having a panic attack. So those are the three that I'll just mention for now. The common signs and symptoms to look out for um, when it comes to anxiety is shortness of breath, restlessness, maybe also biting your fingers, um, having wanting control, you know, wanting to control things, um, and sometimes butterflies in your stomach. But you also need to remember that not everybody will have the same signs and symptoms. What you should do if you experience anxiety is seek help number one we need to remember that anxiety is disruptive at times um, but the worry is exacerbated you sometimes worry about the small things and the one common thing about worry is we go to our worst case scenarios so having to speak to somebody that you trust could be a friend could be a family member it helps to then check if your thought is um rational if maybe you are not um, pushing things out of proportion and if they can't help they then you can also ask for professional help like any healthcare worker to go to your nearest clinic and ask for help there however for day-to-day -day, um, living you also need to make sure that at least you have a routine because with anxiety you worry you worry about your tomorrow so if you know what your tomorrow looks like it's better to then be prepared it also helps to also have a self-care routine so make sure you eat all your meals for the day number one also exercise it doesn't have to be um very heavy exercising it can be like a 15 minutes walk around the block it can be playing ball with your sibling or a friend it can also be maybe coloring in because then what you're focusing on is making a pretty picture and not necessarily what you're worrying about it also helps to do things in bits and pieces so if you have a lot of work to do, it's better to have a to-do list and you take off some of the things that you need to do on that day. And the what you didn't get to, you will see that you will do the next day. Instead of thinking it's a whole lot of things, then you can actually see that, oh, I'm only left with three things to do. Then you are less worried. So it's very much important to also seek help as early as possible because the longer you take, then the longer the treatment would take as well. somebody that has anxiety can sometimes be scary you know if you have to think about it so um, it's okay to say to a person that I don't know what to do you know but you can ask them how can I help you in this moment we need to remember that people that are living with anxiety are more focused on the future and not necessarily at the present moment so it is also important to bring them back ground them back to that very moment you can ask questions such as what is going wrong now in this very moment you know, just to bring them back in that moment also it is um, important to validate their feelings um, if i come to you as a friend and i tell you how i feel don't tell me i'm being silly because that will block me up i will not open up further so validate what they're feeling is true 
and then ask them further to the one to maybe divulge even more information and then they can give you more information which you guys can tackle together and you can go through um emotions with people by just being present as i said before you don't need to have anything fancy to say just being there and listening can be enough for them um, another thing is to just get yourself skilled with um, what to do when a person experiences anxiety um, and you can remind them of these skills because at that moment when a person is having an anxiety attack a panic attack or anything anxiety related they sometimes tend to forget what they need to do you can remind them to breathe you know do um, breathing exercises with them if you have um, art therapy papers like coloring papers you can bring those you can color in you can also ex um, ask them to remind of a moment where they were happy you know how did they feel um who was there what color of um, clothing they had what did they miss about that moment and what would it take to maybe feel like that again um so it's also important to let them go through the emotion not to avoid right because avoidance is also um another way that people cope with um anxiety and avoidance can come in many different forms um some people avoid by isolating some people avoid by using substances so if you feel like a friend is pulling away or a family member is pulling away you know just reassure them that you are there um should they need to talk if they need a space or so just ask them is it for an hour or two can i come back again maybe in a few minutes um if they are avoiding by using substances you can also encourage them not to um and also seek professional help in that instance because we need to also remember um using substances is only temporary and the feeling will not go away but only for that moment then they would need more of that substance so it's important